Hello, God's children. Welcome to Sunday School with Mrs. Abaro. Most of the Sunday Gospel readings of Year B have all been taken from the Gospel of Mark. We have heard over the past two Sundays how Jesus sent his apostles to share his mission when he sent them two by two, remember? Now today and for the Sunday's coming, okay, we shall be reading from the Gospel of John. The reading of today tells of the event following last Sunday's reading. What was it again? Remember when Jesus and his disciples wanted to rest, but the crowd wouldn't allow them. Yes, now this Sunday's gospel reading follows that event, okay? It is the multiplication of loaves and fish, and I target, we all can help Jesus. How? You will see during the lesson. So let's watch this illustration. Remember the gospel is from John chapter 6, verses 1 to 15. Stay tuned. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, Tell everyone to sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. You got it. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Hmm, I believe we enjoyed the clip. All right, let's just take a quick review. Now remember, children, that Jesus and his disciples wanted to rest when the large crowd followed them because of the miracles they saw Jesus perform. Remember that. Now, seeing the large crowd coming to him, Jesus asked Philip where they can buy food. He asked this to test them. Okay, not that he doesn't know what to do. And Philip said it will take more than 200 denarii, that is, um, a, a whole lot of money to feed the people, even if they worked for months. Andrew, one of the twelve, brought a little boy who had five loaves and two fish. The boy was willing to share what he had to help Jesus. And Jesus received the food. He blessed them. He gave thanks. Remember, he picked the loaves first, gave thanks, and did same with the fish. And then he asked the disciples to distribute them to the people, to feed the people. And the disciples did. The food multiplied. The people were fed. They were full. Yes. Jesus asked the disciples to gather pieces of loaves remaining. And they gathered how many baskets full? Twelve baskets full of the pieces of loaves remaining. Isn't this interesting? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go through with questions. Question one. Seeing the crowd coming towards him, Jesus asked Philip a question. What was it? Where shall we buy bread for these people? Some translation will say food. Okay? All right. What was Philip's response? Hmm. Philip said even um, 200 denarii or more will not be enough to buy food to feed the people, even if they worked for months. Which of the disciples brought the boy with five loaves and two fish? Which disciple? 
Andrew. Yes. Next question. What did Jesus do to the loaves and fish when he received them from the little boy? What did he do? He gave thanks. Yes, he blessed them. He thanked God for making provision. Jesus asked his disciples to gather the pieces of loaves left. Why? Why? Why did they have to pick the pieces? Because he wouldn't want anything wasted. Jesus dislikes waste. So children, we shouldn't waste food. Take the quantity you can finish. Do not take too much so you don't throw away. Okay? Yes. Remember that there are so many children out there who are looking for food to eat. Many children are hungry, so we shouldn't waste food, children. Okay? All right. What have we learned from today's gospel reading? Lesson one. Everyone can help Jesus. The young, the old, the poor, the rich, talented, untalented. Everybody can help Jesus. The little boy helped Jesus. Andrew helped Jesus. You too can help Jesus. How, Mrs. Aboro? Yes, you can help Jesus by telling others about him, by obeying your parents, telling the truth, sharing with others. These are the ways to help Jesus. Lesson two, Jesus cares for us. Last Sunday, we read that Jesus was moved with compassion for the crowd and started teaching them. Jesus cares for them. That was why he asked that they be fed. He cares for us. He cares for our physical need as well as our spiritual need. Jesus cares for us. Yes, because he loves us. Lesson three, we can share with others. How do you think the little boy felt when he saw Jesus fed over 5,000 people with his meager lunch? He must have felt happy, right? Yes, he must have felt happy that he shared what he had. He wasn't selfish. He helped Jesus. Yes, so we should learn to share with others. Okay, our memory verse is from John chapter 6 verse 9. There is a little lad here which has five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? Now, this is telling us that we should be ready to help, no matter how small. We all can help Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, I am happy that I can help you today, even if I don't have much. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We come to the end of today's Sunday School. Do not forget that Jesus loves you and he cares for you. Also remember to share, okay? You can also help Jesus by sharing the excess, even the little you have with others. And the Lord will bless you. Jesus will be happy with you. To next Sunday is bye from Mrs. Saboro. Like, share, subscribe. God bless you.